today, ground effect. What it is, what it means for us as pilots, because we do experience it very often. So first of all, what is ground effect? Ground effect is something that we encounter every single time we go fly, especially whenever you do a soft field takeoff or come into land. I know we have all felt that float that you get before. Ground effect is where the wingtip vortices, if you're within one wingspan length to the ground, those wingtip vortices won't be able to rotate about the wing. You'll get an area of higher pressure below the wing, providing a cushion almost whenever you come to land. This is why on soft field takeoffs, you'll be able to take off before your recommended takeoff speed. Wind, one, nine, and zero, coming seven. into land, you'll be able to actually float down that runway because you get a gain in lift and a reduction in drag. So added performance. This is really important to consider if you're in a high yeah, density altitude airport, zero, airport zero, 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 because you could take zero, off. One, you can follow a Cherokee you can on take final off runway and get into that you cushion are the option number three. because you have that increase in lift and a decrease with the in drag, number three, but be stuck the in it. Zero, so, pay attention to zero, that. Get to your recommended right takeoff speed. Three, and two miles wind and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to demonstrate a soft field takeoff to show that we can actually get airborne before our recommended takeoff speed, which is 70 miles per hour in a 23 Mike Zulu, which is a Cessna 172 Lima model. Or 23 Mike Zulu, runway 11, clear for takeoff. Runway 11, clear for takeoff, Skyhawk, 23 Mike Zulu. All right, we're clear for takeoff. Lights are on. I'm going to check final, make sure everything uh, is clear. Midfield, right down one, runway one, one. And as of right now, close the window. And I'm going to protect that nose wheel. I'm going to have that nose wheel uh, elevator back as far as possible just to maintain that nose wheel off the ground. We want to show what this ground effect can do for us. I'm going to go full power. I can already start to feel that nose start to come off the ground. Put the, the elevator and correction in. Crosswind corrections in. Nose wheel is already starting to come off. There I am. In ground effect, I'm going to continue to accelerate. It was about 60 miles per hour that we're up. There's 70. I'm going to start to climb out at VX as we're trying to clear our obstacle. I gained a lot of airspeed relatively quickly using ground effect. As of right now, still climbing out at VX. Get to clear our obstacle. I'm going to go ahead and start accelerating to VY. And I'm going to start cleaning up the airplane. Closer to VY, I'm going to retract my flaps, and we're going to continue in the pattern. 256, hold short, runway 11. Hold short, runway 11, the thing, 256. 23, Mike Zulu, follow Cessna ahead of you in the upwind. Follow the Cessna ahead on the upwind, Skyhawk 3, Mike Zulu. Phoenix 276. That's ground effect for us. We experience it every day altitude. as pilots, whether it be a soft field takeoff, as I just detailed, or on landing. If you can tear you in that higher airspeed in landing, you're going to experience that float. I'm going to send it over to the studio now because we want to test your knowledge on ground effect. I detailed it for you. Let's see if you can pass this knowledge test. As Jamie just demonstrated in 2-3 Mike Zulu, ground effect is something pilots experience every time we fly. Now it's time for you to test your knowledge for mock check ride May. Are you ready? First question. If the same angle of attack is maintained in ground effect as when out of ground effect, lift will increase and induced drag will decrease, decrease and parasite drag will increase, or increase and induced drag will increase. The answer, increase and induced drag will decrease. We can see this on a practical level whenever we get into ground effect, those wingtip vortices aren't able to complete the rotation about the wing. That's going to cause an increase in lift and a reduction in drag. Let's move on to the next question. An airplane leaving ground effect will experience a reduction in ground friction and require a slight power reduction experience an increase in induced drag and require more thrust, or require a lower angle of attack to maintain the same lift coefficient? The answer, experience an increase in induced drag and require more thrust. We can see this in a practical sense with the maneuver I performed, the soft field takeoff. With the soft field takeoff, you can get airborne before the recommended takeoff speed, but after that, it will require more thrust. We don't have that more thrust since we're already at max power. So what do we do? We nose over, maintaining ground effect until the speed we need to be able to climb out. So, M0A Nation, how did you do on your mock checkride, May? 
Thanks, Jamie. If you have enjoyed Mock Check Ride May, take a look at what else our online ground school can offer with a two-week, no-strings-attached free trial. Go to m0ytrial.com to begin, and we'll see you next time.